Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss some interesting facts about human eye, okay? And that is, basically there is a beautiful relationship in between human eye and the electronic circuit. That is, human eye behaves like a low pass filter, okay? Now, you may think, how is this possible? Is a human eye really, like, can be modeled like a simple resistor capacitor series combination where we can take output across the capacitor? No, not exactly, but it can be visualized or its principle is kind of low pass filtering actions only that is we can our eye can detect the low frequency things or can work with low frequency things easily rather than high frequency things okay and i am going to intuitively show you one evidence of that also okay so let us try to understand intuitively okay so you just see here I have drawn some discrete samples, okay? You just try to reconstruct the continuous signal from these discrete samples and see, obviously, in the first glance of this discrete sample itself, the picture of the sign signal which comes in our mind goes like this. See, it will go like this and here like this. And here it goes like this, taking these samples, then it takes these samples. It is not exactly coming like sine wave form because I am drawing in hand. Obviously, it should go properly. And here also, this final sample, it should end. So this is what uh, a sine wave form comes in our mind, right? After seeing these discrete samples, that is, if we plot accurately, we will get this kind of uh, pure sine wave form which consists, this continuous sine wave form consists all the discrete samples, okay? So, our eye can visualize these discrete samples as this only, but have you tried to visualize or have any of your, uh, have any of uh, viewers of my, this particular video have visualized these discrete samples like this one? I hope the answer is no. Okay, if it is yes, very good, then you are extraordinary, no doubt. But see, this same discrete samples can be visualized for a high frequency continuous signal also. Here, see, this particular sine wave for magenta color and here this was blue color. This is low frequency sine signal which our eye can easily visualize. But this high frequency continuous signal also consists of same samples only. I have not added or subtracted or manipulated some extra samples. Same samples only. But see, most of our uh, uh, viewers' eyes is, and for me also same thing is applicable, obviously. Our eyes is unable to reconstruct the continuous signal from the discrete signal, the, uh, unable to reconstruct the high frequency continuous signal. Our eye can easily uh, form this uh, low frequency continuous signal from this discrete signal. But the matter of fact is that whether our eyes can detect this high frequency continuous signal from those discrete signals? No. That's what proves that our eyes can behave like a, basically our eyes behaves like a low pass filter. Okay. So that's what I have seen. Here in the, uh, if you uh, just match these two figures, you will get, see same samples, here one discrete sample, here one more discrete sample, then here one discrete sample, same discrete samples are both, uh, both the, uh, in both the signals, these discrete samples are present, although our eyes were able to detect only the low frequency sign signal, not the high frequency. See here, same discrete samples only, both are, uh, the same discrete samples present in both high and low frequency, okay? That's what I have written here. When we see the samples, we interpret them, we interpret them as lower frequency sin sinusoid or sign signal. The eye does not see or reconstruct or does not visualize the higher frequency sinusoid between samples because the eye is basically a low pass filter, okay? This is what about the concept. Now, let us uh, try to implement some simulation based on this and let us observe practically what is happening, okay? So, first, uh, let me make here, uh, here one figure and let me write some more two lines, then it will be easily understandable. Uh, hold on also, let me give. Control A, evaluate selection 
see i have opened the uh, matlab figure window and this is our sign signals uh, that is discrete signals our eyes you can easily visualize this low frequency but see the high frequency also the the high frequency sign signal also consist of the same uh, samples same discrete samples but it is unable to detect this magenta color sign wave form which is consist of higher frequencies rather than it uh, just visualize our eyes have visualized the blue color low frequency sign signal let me show you this simulation again and observe it again whether you can understand it again or not see this is our discrete samples this is the sign signal which is of low frequency our eyes can visualize and this is the high frequency signal which consists same samples but our eyes are unable to visualize that in the first glance okay uh, when i have told you the concept then you can visualize then there is no meaning in that but uh, in the first instance whether your eyes were able to detect no that's what that this proves this particular small simulation proves that human eyes behaves like a low pass filter and in medical science also uh, there is a huge application in this like human visual system modeling also see what is that a human visual system model is uh, used by image processing video processing or computer vision x experts to deal with biological or uh, physiological process that are not yet fully understood okay so you uh, that that is this is model basically try to uh, the, the image processing engineers or video processing engineers basically work on this models okay and if you go through this model in detail see assumptions about hps see first assumption is what low pass filter characteristics okay that also proves see here itself we are getting the evidence that okay human eyes really behave like a low pass filter okay if you want the uh, want to read this article in detail please go through the link given in the description i will post this wikipedia link in the description and i will also post the code which i have uh, shown you as simulation in the description of my this video okay thank you for watching so basically we can understood one more thing that i want to say that basically we have understood from this particular video that there is a close relationship in between engineering and medical science okay although it uh, appears basically different streams but there is a huge interconnection whatever is developed in engineering uh, as tool that is implemented in medical science okay that's what okay so this there is a huge bonding in between medical science and engineering that's what i tried to show you in my this video so when you are studying filters in your uh, network theory or in your fundamentals of electrical circuit course then you should know what is the probable application so it is one kind of probable application uh, that is low pass filter can be used in human visual system modeling okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching